I want to welcome you back to Black Side Sports. Today we're going to talk about Washington Commanders owner Dan Snyder has dirt on the owners and Roger Goodell. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Dan Snyder has a dossier on all the owners and even the commissioner. They say they have no plans to vote on commanders owner Dan Snyder. I'm going to read you this quick article from USA Today. There is no plan to vote on Washington Commanders owner Dan Snyder's status as next week's owners meeting in New York, according to three people with knowledge of the agenda. The people spoke to Associated Press on condition of anonymity Thursday because the discussions are private. Snyder's ownership of the team has widely been debated for years amid several scandals investigations into workplace conduct in Washington. It became a hotter topic Thursday following ESPN report detailing Snyder's effort to influence other owners and league office to maintain control of his team. ESPN reported citing anonymous sources Snyder had hired private investigators and told people he has enough information to expose fellow owners and Commissioner Roger Goodell the commanders are denying the contents of the report in a statement sent to the AP. A team spokesman called it categorically untrue and clearly part of a well-funded two-year campaign to coerce the sale of the team, which will continue to be unsuccessful. Holland and Knight, one of the law firms representing Snyder, did not immediately respond to a message seeking response to the report. Snyder has owned the team since 1999. He and his organizations are currently the subject of ongoing investigations by the United States Committee and Oversight of Reform. And former U.S. Attorney Mary Jo White, who has conducted a new review on behalf of the NFL. Let me tell you something, man. Daniel Snyder is a shrewd man. And he know they was coming for his throat. So Daniel, before they strike me, he struck them. He got all the information. And let me tell you something. He's one of them cats. He a billionaire. If I go down, I'm bringing everybody with me. The dog, the cat. I don't care. The front lawn. Dan Snyder ain't playing. You not taking my team. You know, because Dan Snyder loves his team. And what is Roger Goodell going to do <coughs> if he start putting the information out about Jerry Jones? which is one of the persons he had investigated also with a bunch of men <coughs> up in New England and several other owners that you don't know about. You know the NFL owners have been under a lot of pressure to get rid of Snyder. But so many other owners have done things, really bad things, and they still have control of their team. So... Snyder got his boys and put them to work. And he said, if I go down, he looked at all 32 owners at that table. Y'all going down with me and don't touch my team because they have enough information on Dan Snyder to take that team or have him sell it. But you notice they not crossing that Rubicon because when a man like that, Snyder, has that much information and you don't even know what he got, that's the scary part about it. You know what I'm saying? So they are really terrified of Daniel Snyder. This is a cold-hearted thug move by Dan Snyder. You're not taking my team. You can forget about it because if I go, Jerry's gone. And you know that Jerry Jones is the most powerful man in the NFL. So we'll see what happens. But the way I see it, Dan Snyder has got the hammer, and everybody else is the nail. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight Sports. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash, <coughs> smash that like button, but also share this video.